episode nine of the Bomber Show here with I'm Clarence back. Peterson. Now, we haven't seen Clarence Peterson on the Bomber Show on, on Shaw Cable TV for months and months. Clarence, it's, it's, how many games have you been to this year? I think I've been to three, but I just have to say, uh, keep those letters coming in. Uh, from the letters, Ralph Cosgrove. Thank you, Ralph, for writing that uh, letter of recommendation. It's great to be back on the show. Uh, the Bombers, um, you know, like I say, we're in a three-game uh, skid. We're in the tank a little bit. Uh, what do you see we have to do tonight? What are we? Well, we got Estevan in here now. We Estevan, win. Estevan is having some trouble down in the Southern Division. So tonight, you got to right the ship. You gotta, you gotta make a statement tonight. You gotta play hard. You want to win by a few goals. You want to dominate in every aspect of the game, starting with the goaltending, out to the defense. You want to score some goals. You want Clarence. If I use the word dominate yet, because I think it's important that the Bombers dominate this evening to make a statement to show this league that just because you lose three in a row that doesn't mean you're out of it it doesn't mean right. you should be falling into power rankers or anything like that you know that's I, the way i see this whole thing. i'm down and who was that that just came in here but anyways i'm down in winnipeg i hear a lot about doff and i hear a lot about you know uh teams down in, in manitoba in Manito yes uh, and manitoba junior we were ranked number uh, three in canada and up to, uh, up, up to, up to two. two, and I, I'm saying we're still there. Number two, we're two. Michael George. Yeah, number my, two. two. And anyways, uh, I think um, you know we, we just have to put things uh, together, and, and uh, tonight's going to be the night. We're going to start again. Well, and 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 I agree, Clarence. And tonight is a very opportune time to be playing at the Whitney Forum on a Saturday night in Flin Flon, Manitoba, because this is where the team will have to reestablish themselves. Now, I want to say most teams they have like. Uh, Padre or you know right you know like some sort of spiritual guidance to take yeah. a hockey team around the flim flon junior bombers have an MLA for their spiritual and I'm games. here I'm here that's right I'm here to talk to them anytime they want okay, okay well, well, Michael George Michael, Michael George part timer Michael. who are you I'm not a part timer part -timer. who's better looking look at Michael George or me okay look at that Anyways, at least I nice show up to have daily. I, I try and be here, but Ball. I'm, I'm busy. Ball. I'm busy. You're not busy. I'm trying not You're to be. You're paid by the government. Okay. You're not busy. So, will you hold my jacket? <laughs> yes. Will you hold my jacket? No, it's okay. I'm glad that, that you filled in for me. There are a lot of letters, though, coming to me saying, you know what? That I'm way better. We want you back, Clarence. So I'm glad I'm here. Lying. And, and, and I'm not lying. You are lying. Ralph Cosgrove, thank you. Ralph. Yes. Likes me way better than no, you. No, okay. Anyway, that's bad English. Michael, and he still tell us about that. We're in the can. We're in the can today. We're doing this from the can. We've lost three in a row, two close ones. What do we have to do? Win. And and it's got to win. And, yeah, and I mean, you know, we've uh, had some injuries and stuff. Uh, not to make excuses, but we have. And uh, tonight we're gonna get a couple of fresh bodies back in the lineup. Name names. Uh, Mr. Storzik. That's so, a good one. That's a good one, Mr. Yeah. Blair. Another good one. Yeah. So. Those two guys, you know, are our top six players, and uh, they add, obviously, a lot to this team. And they're back tonight, and uh, it's a new month and a new day, and uh, we're ready to get rolling. Well, well trade deadline. Clarence, yeah, trade, trade, trade deadline. Tonight? What's any, that? Any big moves? What's uh, that? Trade deadline. Yeah, we actually uh, moved Hayden Dawes uh, to Fort Mac today for uh, uh, Lacroix, is the kid's last name, come in. Big, skilled guy, 6'2 or 3. Uh, Supposed to skate like the wind and uh, fill the net, so uh, we'll see what well, happens. Here. Okay, now we got. We have to talk about Hayden Dawes because he came here with a fair bit of uh, hype, yeah. shall I say? Yeah. Yeah. Not working out. Uh, wanted to be closer to home. That kind of situation, or is he just the kid that had to go to get another player? Yeah, I mean, he was just the guy. Uh, obviously, Alberta guy. They were more familiar with him, um, you know, uh, with their scouting and whatnot. And he was a name that came up, and you know, Hayden. Uh, you know, came in here and uh, did some good things for us. But at the end of the day, you know, we're trying to win. And uh, to add him uh, to the puzzle, uh, you know, it's huge That's, for us. And give that, up something to get Yeah, something. and that 20-year-old body who's a man, so to speak, a uh, big kid as well. So uh, hopefully he comes in and does a job and uh, helps us move forward. So is, does this put a strain on our 20-year-olds? Is, uh, is a 20-year-old half going to go now? or No, uh, no, we're good still. Um, we're at our max now, but at the same time... Uh, Never know. We could always move on. The big deadline, obviously, is January 10th, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, I'm excited about tonight's game. Like you say, I haven't been uh, to many in the, in the last month, but uh, I'm excited about it because I know uh, there's a lot of talent out there. And, and what, what, what did you say before? You haven't been to a, a game for how long? A uh, month? A month. One month. Like, 
I, I know. Were you in Jamaica? Okay, listen, Were no, you in Jamaica? I was not in Jamaica. I was doing negotiations with Russia. Okay, that's it. <laughs> with Russia. Did you get any bears? No, no, I did. Th those bears the, that that are Siberian? No, 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 no. Siberian. No. Okay. Anyways, listen. Um, yeah, like I, I know Mike uh, and yourself. Um, uh, Mike, uh, it's trying to put together a team that's going to be competitive and, and go for it. I mean, uh, we're as flim flawners and, and fans have always wanted to go for it. So I know Mike is doing the best interests in the team, uh, making some trades. Is there a key position that we were still looking for? Uh, I think, you know, uh, this kind of last piece of the puzzle, I think this guy is it. Um, but then again, you know, you never know what might come up if. Uh, there's uh, one or two guys, maybe somebody comes from the Western League or another guy comes from somewhere that, you know, might add to us. Uh, obviously, we're not going to shy away from it. Uh, you know, we've been building the last couple of years, and this is our year, and we're going to go uh, gust the glory, so to speak. Is, and is, is there hard. any possibility of, of uh, some guys being shifted down from the Western Canada Hockey League? Yeah, there's always that possibility, you know, uh, with teams... Uh, Regrouping and so to speak, and you know, wanting to get younger, younger teams that aren't making playoffs and so on. So, right. uh, you never know what's going to happen in this wonderful game, and uh, it keeps you and I on our toes, even here, on, even though I'm here every day and you're uh, monthly. You're never here. You're a monthly yeah. participant yeah. once yeah. a year. Uh, and so, this new kid that you brought in, his name again, sorry? Uh, Lacroix is his last name. Lacroix is in tonight? Uh, no, he just, uh, we just made the deal about. Three hours ago. Okay, so, so. forward defenseman? Uh, he's a forward, yeah. So uh, him and Hayden are both forwards, so one for one kind of deal. Yeah, well, it's tough to move out a kid like we're talking about here, you know. Who, yeah, yeah. You're wondering who would be moved out, and, yeah. you know, it's tough. Kid been here since August, and he had some injury tr trouble, yeah. and he hasn't played a lot of games, but, uh, you know, thanks for showing up and, and giving us your best shot, and yeah. hopefully uh, this is going to work out. That's right, exactly. it's going to work out yeah. best for uh, both Hayden Dawes and for the player returning for the Flim Flon Bombers. Thank you, Michael George, once again for being the co-host and bringing a, and a real thank element. You. Thank really you. And a, a real thank element of professional. Thanks, so thanks for showing up, Clarence. I'm <laughs> leaving like you. you know, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe you replaced me. Hey, how can you do that to trouble. There's trouble. With class. There's trouble on Get Shaw. Get somebody with class. That's trouble. all I want. Trouble on Shaw Cable TV. His tie didn't even match. Yeah, I, a blue I, I, tie I, with a blue I, shirt. I talked I to him. Like I, 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 I talked to him about him all the time. I, he won't listen. I know. I know. Stick around on the Bombers show because we promised to talk about hockey with someone else, maybe even a hockey player. So Saturday night in Flim Flon, Manitoba, we, are, we got we excited, hockey yes. at the Whitney Forum. There's no hockey at the NHL. No. There's hockey in Flim Flon, though, and that's where it matters. And I want to bring up a little point. Okay. 1994, I believe, when they had a lockout, it didn't last very long. Did you know that Bob Clark sat on one side of the, of the yes, negotiating team? In I think management it, and let me from Flim Flon, oh, Manitoba, two or three at that and table. then on the player side at that very same table, Kenny Baumgartner from Kenny Flim Flon, Flon Manitoba. Manitoba. So two, two out of amazing. the six were from Flim Flon to solve that thing. And I'm telling you right now, everybody out there in the Flon, hockey world, it? we need some Flim Flon people on the negotiating committee to solve this problem. to solve this this lockout BS. We could solve. Are you with me? You and I could solve well, it. New York, let's book yeah, the tickets. Yeah. Anyway, stick around for the Bomber Show on Shaw Cable TV because me and Clarence will be back up in the uh, gondola high above the ice surface with whoever we catch up there. We're just going to we'll talk to them. somebody, yes. So stick around. Thank you. Here we got Dylan McCombie on the Bomber Show Saturday night in Flint Fly, Mon Manitoba. Three game lose streak started at home, if you can believe, of a home loss against the, the Nippewan Hawks. Man, that looked frustrating to me. Do I, do I have onions on my breath? It looked really, <laughs> it looked really frustrating to me for the players out there. It just nothing seemed to work. Was that your? Because I was looking out there. You guys are passing in front of your own net and your own zone, and then pass. It was like things I haven't seen you guys do all year. It just, just but wasn't you know, happening. I'm asking him, Clarence. Everybody has a Clarence. bad game. I'm defending. I'm you. asking him. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, like like he Clarence said, we uh, we had a bad game. I mean, those are gonna happen. I'd rather it now than in the playoffs. And like like I, I mean, you just you just gotta keep going through those. You gotta keep battling. And I mean, as long as we keep battling, I think we'll come out of this uh, losing streak here tonight. And hopefully the boys come out flying. Was there a lot of pressure? Uh, were you starting to feel pressure? You know, ten at home. 11 at home, 12 wins at home. Was that, was that in the mind, or were you always kind of thinking in there someplace, well, you know, you're not going to go clean through the whole year. 
at home. Did that affect your play at all, do you think? Uh, you don't want to start making excuses. That's when you start getting into trouble. So, I mean, I think we just we had a bad game. That's That, that happens, and we just got to bounce back from it. No, yeah. I don't want to berate the point, Clarence, and I have to talk here because, you know, you talk a lot, okay? I Way don't, too I much. Don't, I don't. <laughs> I'm not done. I, I, I've got a question. Now, you had two, two close games on the road, lose, lose by one. I heard the interview with Mike after the Battleford game. He said, well, I thought the team played well. I mean, it could have gone either way. Was, was that your sense of the game as well? Yeah, played was, well, but just didn't work out. Yeah, it was a playoff-type game. I mean, we had injuries, but like I said, we can't be making excuses, and we, we played hard. We, we just couldn't get the goals like we've been getting lately, and... Like I said, as long as we don't make excuses and we just come out every night and work as hard as we did that game, we should we should be fine. Dylan, when, when I watch you, you bring a couple elements to the game. You're scoring, you're hustle, and you bring a spirit to the Bombers. Um, do you think you're there this year like you were last year? Like, what do you think of your personal game so far this year? Uh, I haven't been putting up the numbers like I did last year, but I mean, I'm still... I'm still You're working, working hard, hard yeah. and, and I'm just I'm trying to get out of that slump, but I mean, it'll come eventually, and honestly, I think I'm working just as hard as last year, just the points aren't coming like last year, but I'm sure they'll start coming right away. So what are the Bombers, like you say, um, we've got a, obviously a different team, uh, we're, we're maybe a little bigger than last year, um, defense is, is quite mobile, what do you think we have to work on uh, um, for our, our, our game here. Do you think the players have to come back defensively or do you think we've got to be more offensive? I think we need to sharpen up a little bit in the D zone again, but I mean, we only lost two to one right. each game. So, I mean, we just got to keep working. Like I said, like as long as we don't lose our work ethic, we're going to we're gonna start winning again here right away. Hopefully it starts tonight. And Do you have to shoot more or, or, or pass? What do you have to do? Whatever's there. Whatever. No, but I, I mean, what do you think? Like, like, like you say, things aren't just going in like the way they they were. Do you think personally you've got to shoot more then? Yeah, get shots on net and just drive yeah. the net. Just get, drive the net. Yeah. Get greasy goals, right? They don't need yeah. to be pretty. Yeah. No. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, Clarence, because you haven't seen a lot of games, but uh, Dylan has a signature move coming down on a defenseman. Now, would you like to describe it, or do you think everyone knows about this move already? It's kind of a Kelly Davis move. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I don't know. Did you just... learn that from Kelly Davis? No, I, well, I... Playing grew... old-timers? Come on, <laughs> let, come on, let's face A couple years ago, we all played old-timers, and Kelly Davis was doing that, bank it off the back doors, go around the defenseman, pop it in the net. Now, I've seen you do that just about every game. Is it true or false? Well, I do it lots, yeah, but, I mean, I grew up here, right? I know the boards, so uh, I just, uh, yeah, I just, I know the boards, so you just got to place it right. It's a great play. It is. It's a great play. The you, know, you always work hard, and, and it's always an honor to, to interview you, and uh, like you say, keep on working hard, and good things will happen. You bet. You yeah. keep working on that move, because I think, I've seen you score one or two on that, and I think there's a few left. Yeah, it works great. Yeah, and Back there's going to be a up. few big goals with that one, too, at great times. How about one tonight for us? I'm hoping so. We'll see oh. tonight. All right, okay. thanks for being thanks on the Bomber Thank Show you. around the world. Stick around, Shaw Cable TV fans, because me oh, and Clarence, yeah. we're back. <laughs> we're going to be here for a bit. So stick with the Bomber Show on Shaw <laughs> Cable TV. Okay, we'll see you. Well, Clarence, it's good to have you back, kind of. Oh, no, okay. it's not. No, it is good to have you know, back. Because the ratings go down. The girls really like looking at, at Michael yeah. George. He's such I mean, a good-looking guy. That's a toupee. You know, that he, is a toupee. Michael I want to George, go on and say that's a toupee. He's, he's tall. He's good-looking. He, he speaks like he knows hockey. He's got a lisp. He's got a lisp. I can tell there's a lisp. Ask him to say a word with S's. You know? Like okay. Solomon or, or, you know, or, or shoot, suck attack. Shoot the puck. Yeah, or shoot the puck. But, I mean, you know, he spits on you. But I, I, I like Michael, okay? I like Michael. He's, he's done a good job filling in. I just have to thank all those letters, especially you, Ralph Cosgrove, for, for sending in the, the letters and asking for me back. So, thanks. Do you, have any, uh, back. do you have any feelings about tonight? Because when you walk uh, into this grand yeah. old dame of a barn, you get a vibe right away. Yeah, you sure get you a do. vibe of, I've said of, that to of the ghosts of Bombers past, yes. of, the, of the future. And we're, and we're looking out here, and, and my vibe coming in, is, in tonight was the Bombers are going to lay a licking on yeah. Esteban well, tonight. It's, it's a big game. And, and you know even though Esteban's low, low down the standings, we've got to win this. And we've got to win this with authority. You know, it can't be a close game. We've got to show that we're, we're out for business. I know we've got key players out. But you know what? Every team goes through injuries. 
and and so are we. I mean, let's go. Let's play hockey. Yeah. Well, and you know, even when the team has been struggling, they're still uh, allowing two goals a game. Uh, the offense is yep. dried up, but some parts of the game are still fundamental, so it's Both not a long way. Hey, I mean, if there's one if there's one segment of our game at the Bombers this year, goaltending has been great. has been great, and that's where yep. it all starts. Anyway, episode nine on Shaw Cable TV, the Bomber Watch. Show. Watch out for cheap imitations, Claire's, because yes. there are many out there, but they that's don't have the thing that you and I Michael have. Michael George is wearing a toupee. I'm going to say that right now. Okay, he's wearing a toupee, and, and so be it. And, and platform shoes. Well, yeah, he's, he's the same height as Mike Reagan. He's, that's you know, true. He's the same height as Mike Reagan. But, yeah. oh, no, he looks tall. He does. Anyway, thank you for tuning in to the Bomber Show, Episode yeah. 9, Shaw Cable TV, also on YouTube. And if you're a friend of uh, mine or Clarence's, yeah. well, I'm sure it'll be posted right on there. And, uh, and it's all over. You can, you can watch it at your own leisure, of yeah. course. Catch it on Shaw Cable TV anywhere around the world. Thanks for Good tuning in. Uh, with my bro. So we only are going to say, we're going to say, Go Bombers, go on go three. Bombers, go one, one, two, three. Go, go Bombers, go. go. So we'll see you later. Yes, thank you.